They've just come out with a movie. It's a new horror film, actually. We're going to show you guys the trailer. This horror film is called Karen. It is going to be the most cringy trailer you've ever seen in your lives. Again, when we have to suffer through videos, we make you suffer through them with us. Well, here we go. I guess this is a long way from East Point. Baby, you just got to give it a chance. They're black. Do you mind keeping it down if you don't keep I already have to pause. <laughs> We made it like 20 seconds in. She goes, tell me about your new neighbors. And the first thing that this woman, I'm, I'm sure you realize by now, she's Karen. She goes, they're black. <gasps> oh, the doll. OMG. Is that ever the first thing that you notice about somebody? Because it's not the first thing that I notice about somebody. Well, even if it is the first thing you notice about someone, it doesn't mean anything to you. It's the first right. thing you tell your neighbor or whatever. Right. <gasps> black neighbors are moving in, guys. <laughs> right. Like, Call the police. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the foreshadowing is just is just amazing because that is exactly what Karen does in this trailer. So that let's is. continue watching. Hi, I'll tell the manager. She just said the line. <laughs> she just said the I will tell uh, the manager line. <laughs> you're black. I'm going to tell the manager that you're black. I think this we is need how to, people act to make clear world, that apparently. this actually is a real trailer. Like, they're serious. This is not a parody. It's right. Like, not a parody. Actually okay? This is real. This is a real, real movie that is going to come out shortly. Let's keep watching. Somebody's taking home security serious. Hi, I am Karen Drexler. I'm your neighbor. You need to be taking your trash cans off the curb right when the trash is picked up. Is she nice? Yeah, she's nice. Wait a minute, we have a white entitled neighbor named Karen. Karen, okay, enjoy yourself. There she is slaving away in the kitchen. <laughs> Slaving away in the kitchen? Are you kidding it's me? It's like I shouldn't be laughing at this. No, it's hilarious. It's so funny. It's, it's funny because it's like it's a the fakest thing ever. But they don't think it's fake, and that's scary. That's scary that it's they're making scary. this based off like this could be real. Right, like your idea of a true realistic horror movie is this white person who's so racist that they want you dead. It's wild. Slaving away in this podcast. Just slaving away. That's what I'm doing all day long at PragerU. I'm just slaving away. The language is just so on the nose that I just can't believe that somebody sat down and they wrote this movie. Yeah, who wrote this? <laughs> the writing is like a, a angsty 11th grader writing like something that they think is. I amazing. know they they put the I want to talk to the manager and the slaving away in the first like 30 seconds. Like in that's in the movie first of all, and then they that's what they choose to put in the trailer to show the world right and then is. the couple i don't know if you guys noticed but the husband in in this couple was wearing like african garb around himself you know yeah, like he's doing the nancy pelosi right he's pulling the, the good old nancy pelosi on us <laughs> <laughs> so you can already tell like politically where the motivation here it's just wild let's keep watching i've come across some very suspecting teenagers suspecting can you please hurry up Please, it's they're very, very aggressive, yep. I left my wallet with my ID at home. Leave us alone, we didn't do anything. How the heck did you end up moving to this neighborhood? Next thing you know, we have criminals. You take care of him and I will take care of her. Would you mind stepping out of the car? My office has uncovered some disturbing information on her and her brother. She doesn't like black people. We have a search warrant. Well, I'm black. I know, she doesn't like you either. I want to sell the house. What do I do? You can't tell me, huh? We are living next door to Oh my gosh. She had a Confederate flag in the lotion dispenser. <laughs> Imagine just like a Confederate soap dispenser just chilling in your house. What is going on? I don't know. Just look at the caricature that they're trying to paint of not only just like white women, but also police officers. I think they've already sort of insinuated that she has a brother who is a police officer. And of course, she's using that to her advantage because, of course, the left thinks that police in America are systemically racist against black people it's almost insinuating that white people can just like call up a cop they know and say hey hey larry there's some black people in my neighborhood now right. and they're like oh glad you called we're gonna take care of that right, right. now. right don't worry we're not, not on my watch you know like that's so dumb 
It's, it doesn't happen. Right, and it's clearly a play on all those Twitter videos that went viral of these white women who were calling the police on people. Like, there was one that called the police on a man in a dog park, and that went viral, and now we're getting a movie that's sort of proposing that white people are like this and that police are racist towards black people and that as a black person you can't move into an affluent neighborhood without experiencing this. I know. Crazy. Let's finish it I up. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> racist. You went in her house... You wouldn't want your wife to know our little secret, right? I was not staying in police procedure back there. What do we have here? We well, got a hammer. Everything looks like nails. You people are very angry. Shut your mouth, boy. <laughs> Bad things happen to people that don't comply. All right, brother, we got some black people moving in our neighborhood, and we're going we yeah. gonna to take care of it because we're know. white, and this is what white people do. I know. Oh, my gosh. You know, it's so... But really, you know, it is a testament to the, the true state of how we are socially and culturally in this country because the only time that you see racism like this is if you make up your own movie about it. It's fake. It's fake. <laughs> it's you literally You have to make fake. up this fake movie to show that racism is real in America. Exactly. There, it's so laughable, but I'm sure there are people who saw this and are like, this is what the world is like. It's right. like people watching The Handmaid's Tale and thinking this is what the world is like. Those, right. it's, it's like the same type of energy, those two types of people. I mean, we talked about this on the plane yesterday. Amla was, was I mean, we're working on a show and her first episode is like she's going to be sharing some of her story and, about how the narrative that a lot of people grow up in on the left and when you listen to the mainstream media is this narrative of fear. You need to be afraid of conservatives. You need to be afraid of people who think differently from you because this is what they're like. And when you it's funny because the, it, like this is not a parody, but it just rep it's, it's so on the nose is representative of this fake perception that they have of the way the world really is like this that this is not how the world is but it's how they believe the world is and this is the best they can do to write a movie to say yeah see kids this is how it is out there and we should all grow up in fear of how these white people are gonna fr frame us and you have the cops are in on it and you know you're gonna be planting stuff in our cars and it's like it's all fiction it's like jesse smollett but in movie form right. i think the worst part is that it's these black people right and they're moving into a white neighborhood and then getting targeted by the white people which if anyone watches this movie and takes it seriously it makes them think black people can't move into white neighborhoods because then they'll be racist against them which then encourages black people to never want to move into neighborhoods that would be white and white people to never encourage black people to move in it's just like you're segregating people essentially right. when you make a movie like this because it pits people against each other right if you move into this neighborhood we're gonna call the cops on you and shoot you essentially is what this movie is trying to say with that versus like just move in everyone's fine no one cares what race you are okay Right. You're not moving into the boonies of Alabama somewhere. This is like exactly. Pennsylvania or something. And the key part of it is that's a really nice neighborhood. So not only are you holding back black people from moving into neighborhoods uh, uh, with white people in them, but you're moving, you're holding them back from being successful and moving into nice neighborhoods through some false narrative that they will somehow have a racist experience. And it's crazy to watch now, especially with with hindsight, but where I was was right there. I would have totally fallen for something like this, that, that white people are out to oppress me and out to get me and that police officers are out to get me and they do anything to, to see another black person not live another day. And to watch it now, it's just so harrowing to see that this is the content that is gonna be coming out and this, this is what people are going to be watching. This is what people are going to be influenced by.